Okay, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a control point in SQF Sentinel. SQF Sentinel is based around control points. The control points will run the entire program themselves, and they can be found in the CP slash CCCP button up here. That obviously stands for control point and critical control point. So we'll click that. We get our list of control points that we have built here. I'm going to use the critical control point detector test one as an example. We will click detector test one. Here we have detector test one is for our metal detectors. We have the name is of the control point as a metal detector or detector test one. The equipment is set up as metal detector one because we set the equipment up in Sentinel itself in the setup equipment tab. That's where we'd find that. Then for the device type, uh, we actually hook this up to a safe line power phase one. The frequency we're going to have that set for is every 60 minutes. What that means if we, is if we want to change to another time period, we could easily change here and say if it was weekly, we want to do it once every week, we would just do weekly in one or hourly every three hours. But for this metal detector, we want it done every 60 minutes. Where is it located on line one? And we have it attached to a metal manual form. And this category section here is actually where this gets outputted to in Sentinel. If we click on the left side over here, we'll see on tasks on the top, we have the production, maintenance, sanitation, and calibration. And if we check here, we have the production, maintenance, sanitation, calibration. So if I change this to sanitation, it'll show up in the task sanitation section. But we'll leave it as production for now. As always, if we want to add documents to this, we can always add a document by clicking Add Doc and up doing a standard Windows upload. Let's go through putting a new control point in together. So here I have new control point. Oops, sorry about that. New control point. give it an equipment name if we want it or we don't have to because we don't have any equipment attached to it that's totally fine for the most part you're gonna go ahead and put in terminal and input station that just means you're putting it in on a PC or a tablet we can set the frequency to every two hours set the group as line one we could make this an inspection if we wanted by giving it the inspect form. And for category, we'll put it under production. And if we wanted to make this metal detector or critical control point, we could just click CCCP or CCP rather. And for verification, for example, let's say there's a certain group of people that needs to verify this particular control point. They would click verification and then you can actually have the verification users here. We can insert the users. We don't have any verification users set up currently, but we could set those up. If we're doing automatic processing, such as temperature probes, we could easily click automatic process automatically task, and they would be done on the dashboard that way. All right, that's enough for control points. Thank you for watching.